Hi, this is Mary Hansen. This presentation is on opening an existing data source in SPSS. Once you are logged into Citrix, from the Start menu, click on All Programs, SPSS for Windows, and SPSS Statistics 17.0. You will be taken to a screen that asks what you would like to do. The default that is highlighted in SPSS is open an existing data source and that is what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and then I have to, as in many Windows packages, find the location of the data source. In this case, I'm going to find a file that's located on the Passouts drive or Q drive. The Passouts drive is a drive that all RMU students have access to when they are on the campus computers as well as when they are logged into the RMU network using Citrix. So I could either double click on that file name or highlight it and click on OK. Then I'm going to find the folder Hansen. When I do that I could either double click on the folder or highlight it and click on open. And then in this particular case I'm going to open a file that's in the EDUC 6065 folder. So I could double click or highlight it and hit open. When you do that, you'll see that there are uh, a couple of existing SPSS files. SPSS data files have a .sav extension. In this case, I'm going to open up computerproject1datafile.sav. I'm going to highlight that file and click on open. Now I have that file open. Now it's a good idea, rather than working from this file that's located on shared network space, to go ahead and save that file to your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on File and Save As. Now I have to tell the computer where I want to save it to. There are several drive options that I have access to. On this computer, I have three drives that say on Client. Client is my home computer. So you could save this to the C drive on your home computer. If you do that, keep in mind that unless you're logged into Citrix through SPSS, you will not be able to open the file. Another option is to save the drive to your network drive, which is called the H drive. In my case, my RMU username is Hansen, and so I could save in my Hansen drive. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that drive. And you can see that I have several folders already existing on my network space. You may not have any files on your network space. So I'm going to go ahead and call this file Computer Project 1 Data File. Type in the name and I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. When I do that, I really don't see anything happen to the SPSS file, but now this file has been saved onto my network space. The next time I open the file, I will be able to open it from my network space. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of SPSS. I do not need to um, save the contents of the output. And now the next time I go into SPSS, I'll do the same thing from the Start menu, and this time I could open up that file from my network space. Again, it will be Start, All Programs, SPSS for Windows, SPSS Statistics 17.0, and when you find the file this time, you'll still open an existing data source, but rather than going to the Passouts drive, you will search for your H drive. You can see that the computer project one data file dot save has been saved to my H drive. I could go ahead and highlight that and open the file and then I will be opening that file that is saved on my network space. This presentation was on opening an existing data source and saving a data file in SPSS.